Greetings, salutations, it's me, James, your PA Sensei, back with another Power Crew tutorial. In today's video, we're going to continue looking at double barrel data sets like this one. Now, in this data set, you can see we have various portfolios, and they could be four, five, six portfolios, and they all have standard headers underneath them. So what I want to do is I want to take this and I want to stack these data sets on top of each other like this. But in addition to that, I want to take these, this first row of double barrel header, and I want to add a column called portfolio and simply add it right there. So let me show you how to do it. Okay, step one, get into Power Query, select your data set, go to data, say from table or range. And very important to say, do not tick my table as headers because we don't have headers. That's the whole problem we're trying to resolve. Say, okay, this opens Power Query. This change data type, change type step, you can just delete, it's automatically added. Okay, now you have your data set. So first thing I wanna do is, we're gonna use a record function. So source is this table. I'm gonna, in curly brackets, say zero, which is gonna return this very first row as a record. Counting starts from zero. There we go. Okay, so now let's take this record and we make it a list, right? And we say, cool, record to list. There we go. Okay, we have a problem there. We've got nulls in there. So now I can use a list function, list, remove, nulls. And in brackets, I say, excellent. Now we have a unique list of portfolios. Let's click on that step F2 and we say portfolio names. And now I'm gonna add a new step doing the exact same thing. Let's refer to source, correct. And now we wanna look at this second row as a record. So now in curly brackets, I'm gonna say one. Cool. And now let's take the record to list to convert this record to a list. And there we go. But now we can use a list function. You can see it loops date, stocks, value, it just loops, loops, loops. We want to have distinct. So we say list distinct in brackets and close it up. And now we have a distinct list. It would help to rename it. So click there, F2, say column headers. All right. Add a new step. Let's refer back to source. Let's now focus on the data. All right, so we wanna say table, skip, and there are ways to do this dynamically, but I'm gonna show you how to do it. I'm gonna hard code it because we're gonna assume for this data set that we just noted the first two double barrels. I'm gonna say skip the first two rows of data. Cool, there we go. Now we can just call this the table data. Okay, my next step is, you can see that the data set here works in groupings of three. That's the first portfolio, second portfolio, third portfolio. If we add more, it's gonna be the fourth, fifth, and sixth, but we have groupings of three. In order to do that, I'm gonna convert each column in this data table into a list, a ordered list. So I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna say, add a new step, table, two columns. Yes, I'm just gonna give it that. And now you have a list of, we have nine lists. Each list represents a column in your table. There we go. All right, and you can see these lists work in groupings of three. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so we need to take that into consideration. So the next thing I'm gonna say is list split this data set into groups of three. Yeah, so now we have three lists, three lists of lists. Let's rename this to split table. All right, so let's add a new step. What I want to do now is I actually can see that it's just like a list of lists. I want to now take this list of lists and I want to create a table from it. All right, so if you just take a little peek inside there, you can see list, there's the date, there's the stock uh, amount, and there's the value of the stock. So I'm just going to delete that. So we are going to say list transform because we want to transform these, this list of lists. Yes, yeah, so we're going to transform the split table. And we're going to say, for each list in this table, right? Table from columns. So create a table from the columns, from the underscore, right? And let's close it out. And now that created a list of tables. And you can see that we don't really have the, the column headers in there. So what you can do, is second argument there after the underscore would be to just specify the column headers. That step that we created before. And now if you click on that, can see there was a date stocks and value brilliant let's rename the step to transform all right so now that you have that you can basically look at the transform option over there and say from this list of tables create a two table it's going to give you some options here 
you just basically say none and show errors. So now it basically converted that into a table. So it's a table of tables, a nested table. Let's add an index column. So we're going to say add, add an index column from zero. All right, because what we want to do is we're going to go to this portfolio names over there, zero, one, and two, and look up list value number zero, one, and two over there. Okay, so I'm just going to rename this to index table. All right, and I'm going to take this index column that we add, I'm just going to change the name to portfolio. Okay, so I'm going to add a new step and let's say table transform columns because what I want to do is I want to transform one of these columns and I want to transform that portfolio column right I'm just going to say yes that's correct in curly brackets we're going to take the portfolio column yes and we're going to say each and we're going to refer to the portfolio names because we know it's zero one and two we're going to refer refer to the portfolio name step over there and simply in curly brackets say give us position zero one two or three and close it out and that's going to turn into the portfolio names isn't that cool corresponding to zero one and two zero one and two wonderful now all we need to do is click on the expand say okay and there you go there's your data set it's actually done so now I'll just quickly do the formatting of let's say this is date this is whole number. Now all we can do is we go back and say close and road. And there we go. There is our data set unstacked using record functions, list functions, table functions, unstacked into one nice data set. Well, and you can also see if you add more columns here for portfolio four, five, and six, it's actually going to add them to this data set. I hope you learned something new in Power Query this week, and I'll be back in another video in the future. For now, BA Sensei, signing out.